Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Yesterday we started Surah Al Fil, the Surah of the Elephant. This Surah was revealed in Makkah, and that's what you see here. Makkiyatun. So it means it was revealed before the migration happened. Migration happened. And it has five ayat and it has one ruku. Okay. So uh, we did the only the first ayah yesterday. Inshallah, we will do more. We'll, we'll try to finish the surah if we can, inshallah. Let's see how much we accomplish. So I will just repeat, revise what I what I did yesterday for the first ayah. Alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashabil fil. Remember this, this word is going to come again and again. Ah, this is for indicating that this is a question. A sen this sentence is actually a question. This ayah is a question. Did you not see how your Lord, your master did with the companions of the elephant? So that's what he did yesterday. Next ayah. Alam yaj'al kaydahum fi tadlil. Ah, it's the same ah which we saw here. So this ah is to indicate the same thing, which is that this sentence, this ayah, is actually a question. So let's call it a question mark. Hmm? Lam. We learned this word in details yesterday. Lam means did not. Did not. Next word is yaj'al. Yaj'al. Anybody knows the first word for this? Ja'ala yaj'alu. Ja'ala yaj'alu. So what happened to it? Why? What happened to the dhamma here? It should be a pesh, a dhamma here. I don't see that here. Instead, there is a skoon. Because of the, uh, because of the lam. Yeah. So lam made it lightest. So this is lightest. So what will be the translation of alam yaj? Jala means he made. Yajalu he makes or he will make. Did, did he not make? Sorry, say it again. Did he not make? Yeah, so you made it past tense, right, Muhammad? Yeah. Yeah, because that is what Lam does. That may, Lam changes the sentence. Lam always comes with a fail, fail mudare and always changes it into a past tense. Right, that's what you did. Good job. Did you not, did he not make? Did he not make? Kaidahum. Now remember, what is the inside door of Yajal? He. What's the inside door? He. he. When he or she is the inside door, there is a possibility that there could be what? There could an be what? outside door. There could be an outside door. So keep that in your mind. There may be an outside door. Maybe not. We will find out. But keep that in mind. Yajalu has an inside door, he. So there could be an outside door. We don't know it exists or not at this time, but we will we will be, we should be aware of that. Kaidahum. We learned this word. Anybody knows what kaida means? Kaid. Plan. Plan. So what's the first word? Kada no. yakidu. What chapter now? What's the chapter? Very good. Chapter's name? Ajwaf. Bab Ajwaf. Why we call it Ajwaf? Central letter is Alif. Alif. Yeah. Kada in the middle. The middle letter. Alif in the middle. Right? Middle letter is Alif. And it is on the pattern of Sara Yasiru. Yasiru. Yeah. Kada Yakidu. And what is Kaid then? Master. Kaid is? Master. Kaid means, Kada means he plotted, he planned. Kaid means plot or plan. Kaida home. Dear, dear plan. Dear plan. Fee. Remember, everybody should know this word. We have used this word so much, so many times. Fee means? 
Fi means no, no. This is not fa. This is fi. In, in, tadlil, tadlil. We learned a similar word. Dalla ya dillu. Dalla means he went astray. Hmm. So this is the next variation of it. Tadlil means to lead someone astray. Hmm. Astray. Then to de to make somebody deviate from the right path. Like you have a plan and you want your plan to go in a certain way, but if your plan is doesn't go the certain way and something happens that makes it do it, then that is tadlil. Tadlil happened to the plan; it went astray. So, did we find an outside door for Yajalu or not? Is there an outside door? No. No, there is no outside door here, because this is kai dahum. It is not kai duhum. Huh? If it was kai duhum, then it will be the outside door. It is kai da, so there is no outside door here. So the inside door will stay. Did he not make their plan in astray? Did he not make their plan in astray? Or we can say, did he not make their plan? To go astray because their plan was to defeat, to uh, destroy Kaaba, the the companions of the elephant. This is what their plan was, and Allah did not, uh, that Allah didn't, Allah failed their plan. Allah make their plan go astray. وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبْهَابِيلٍ وَأَرْسَلَ and now this ah uh, is not a question mark okay this is part of the word arsala arsala see this is one word arsala arsala means he, he sent, sent. Yeah. no not down that is anzala okay there is no down here he sent arsala means he sent Khat irsal karna. In Urdu we say irsal. Arsala he sent. So what is the inside door again? He. he. Yeah. When he is inside door, there could be outside door. And outside door. But it may or may not be present. So arsala means he sent. This is a third level word. We haven't done that yet. Alayhim. Alayhim means upon them. Upon them. And he sent upon them toiran. Toiran. Toiran means birds. This is a plural word. It means birds. What's the first word for this one? Any? We have learned this word, so we should know. Tara. Tara. Tara yatiru. Tara yatiru, like Sara. Yasiru. Yasiru. Baba Jwaf. Tara yatiru tayaran. Tayaran is the master. So tara yatiru. Tara means what? He flew. Flew. Tara means he flew. Can somebody do a TPI of tara? Uh, can I? Go ahead, Muhammad. Tara taru terta tertum tertu terna. Yatiru, Yatiruna, Tatiru, Tatiruna, Atiru, Natiru, Tir, La Tatir, Tiru, La Tatiru, Tair. Stop here. Stop here. Stop here. What does Tair mean? Tair, the one who flies. The one who flies. So the, can we say a bird? Tair means a bird? Yes. Yeah. Tair means. Tire means the one who flies, and the birds fly. So tire means a bird, and its plurals are tireuna, tireina, right? Yeah. But this is a this is a broken plural. This is a different plural of the word tire. It is called tiran, and it is it means birds, right? So this is another plural for the word tire. Okay. Ababil, ababil means groups. Walks. Yeah. Yeah, flocks or groups, huh? Ababil. Okay, ababil, and it is ababila. This is light. 
senior students why it is light it is not ababilun or ababilan it is light ababila why Hmm? Nobody? Now I will, if you could recall, we learned four reasons for a word to be light. This is just, I'm talking to just the senior students. Four reasons for a word to be light. And this is a light word. Is it not light? And the, among the four reasons, there was one re reason that, is, that was the words which are partly flexible are always light and this is a partly flexible word like mafati it's a plural word which has an alif in it this is called muntahal jumu if you want to know the, the meaning of uh, the term used for it but this is basically a partly flexible word and this is a sifa of tayr tayr is mansub and this is also mansub so sifa mosuf and he sent upon them birds which were in groups so groups and groups of birds came one after the other okay and there is no outside door here either so the inside door will stay and he sent upon them birds in groups or you can say grouped birds grouped birds so groups and groups of birds birds came Tarmihim bihijaratim sijil. Tarmi. Tarmi and him, they are separate. Tarmi. Anybody, we did this word. Anybody knows what this, the first word would be? Rama yarmi. Rama yarmi. Rama means? Rama means he throw. So what's the chapter? Yeah. Rama yarmi hadayah di bab naqis. Level two. Bab naqis, second type. Huh? Good, good. So this is Fatha Kasra pattern. Tarmi, Rama Yarmi Yarmuna, Tarmi, Tarmuna, right? So Tarmi is the third word in Mudare column. So Tarmi means what, Ibrahim? She throws. Could this mean something else too? Uh, it, all, it has two meanings. One is tell me you throw or you will throw. And another meaning is she throws. Yeah. Tell me. So, yeah. Jazakallah khair. This is, good. this is perfect. Like tell me normally we translate it as you throw or you will throw. But it also means she throws or she will throw. So just keep, keep that in mind. Hmm? We will determine what actually it is. Hmm? But it could have two meanings. You throw or she throw. Him, them. Be, with. Be. So be is separate. Hijaratin is separate. Be, with. Hijaratin. Hijara is a plural of hajaro. Hajaro. Hajar means stone. Hijara, stones. It's a plural word. Min, from. Sijil. Baked clay. Sijil means baked clay. Baked clay. So now we have to determine what it is. Is it she throw or you throw? Hmm? Oh. So who was throwing? Who was throwing? Throwing was done by birds, right? And this is an irregular plural. You see, it should be tairun, tairin, but it's not tairun or tairin. It is tairan. So it's a plural. We call it broken plural. So the plural, plural that doesn't follow the pattern una, ina, like tairuna, tairina, that plural is called broken plural. So tairan, is a broken plural okay this is not a regular plural it is a broken plural and remember this word thing now the broken plural are treated as singular feminine in arabic language okay while we while we translate it we have to translate it as per english language but 
in Arabic, Tayran is a broken plural, so it will be treated as singular feminine. It will be treated as she. It will be treated as what? She, singular feminine. And that is why Tarmi will mean Shri, she throw. She throw. She throw on them with stones from baked clay. But this doesn't sound right in English. Because in English, it is, there is no broken plural thing here. This is, this, we will have to say, they throw on them. But in Arabic, Tarmi word is used because Tayran is a broken plural and broken plurals are treated as singular feminine. So she throw, it is actually means she throw, but when we translate into, in, in, into English, we'll say they throw on them with stones from baked clay. Or you can also say that they hit them. They hit them with stones from baked clay, meaning made out of baked clay. Okay. So this is a very important concept. We should know this. And let me finish this, uh, this surah. So, or then, Ja'ala, same Ja'ala which was here. It was Yaja'alu, right? Ja'ala is the past tense, first word in Mali. He made whom? Them. So, he made them. Ka. Ka is, is a word separate from Asf. Ka means like. Asf means hey. H A Y hey, that, that the animals eat, the grass kind of a thing, right? Hey. So he made them like hey. Ma'kul. Ma'kul. Anybody knows the first word for ma'kul? Ma'kula? No. Akala. Akala. Akala means he. He ate. He ate. He ate. Akala. Somebody do the TPI of Akala. Go ahead. Akala, Akalu, Akalta, Akaltum, Akaltu, Akalna, Yakulu, Yakuluna, Takulu, Takuluna, Akulu, Nakulu. Ekal. Kul. 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 La Takul. Kulu, La Takulu. You got it. So this is Ismul Maf'ul. So what is the meaning of Ma'kul, Muhammad? Ma'kul means the thing which is eaten. The thing which is eaten. Good. Eaten. So he made them like hay. Which is eaten. Like if an animal chews up a hay and then throws out, throws it out, you know, on the ground. It will be disgusting. So that's what it is. So Allah made them like chewed up hay. Chewed up hay. Eaten hay, meaning chewed up hay. So I will just uh, do a quick running translation and then we can uh, see if there are questions. Did he not make their plan in astray and he sent upon them birds in groups? They hit them with stones from baked clay and sorry. So he made them like, chew, like chewed up hay. Any question? All right, I guess there is no question. So let's go to the breakout rooms.